Good evening. This is the December 18th, 2019 meeting of the East Long Meadow Town Council. Uh, we'll begin the meeting with our Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And we ask during this moment of silence that you keep our uh, first responders and our servicemen and women around uh, the world in your thoughts this evening. Thank you. In accordance with Mass General Law, this meeting is being audio taped and videotaped. If there's anyone in the audience uh, doing uh, the same, would you kindly identify yourselves? And it appears not, so we can move on. Uh, what we, uh, we, our primary uh, role this evening for this meeting is to interview the four finalists uh, who have been uh, named by our town manager's search screening committee as uh, for us to consider this evening. And we will begin that uh, at 4.30 after a short orientation from um, Mr. Lynch, uh, our consultant. Before doing so, um, the council needs to take care of a technicality of sorts, uh, which speaks to the language in the charter uh, that allowed for or allows for an interim town manager to be appointed for the duration of four months with the opportunity for a, an additional four month extension. Our present town uh, interim town manager uh, was appointed on August the 22nd. That four month window uh, ends on this coming Sunday. Uh, to avoid the uh, st sticky situation of not having uh, an interim manager in place until we successfully negotiate a contract with whomever we identify this evening as our candidate of choice, it allows a in, uh, a seamless, too bad I can't talk this evening, <laughs> a seamless, um, smooth transition into the next four months. So uh, that's simply a technicality and it allows business as usual going forward on Monday the 23rd, regardless of whomever might be identified this evening. So that said, Mr. Kane, would you um, make that motion, please? I will. I move that the town, uh, the town extend the existing contract with Mary McNally as acting town manager to the earliest of a, a, the date on which a fully executed contract with a newly appointed permanent town man manager becomes effective, or b, April 23rd, 2020, which is the latest date to which the contract may be extended under the Home Rule Charter. I'll second that motion. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any mm -hmm. discussion? Yes. You did mention the term interim, and this says acting. acting. I want to be sure that it's acting my is understanding right. is from right. Mr. Major back in the summer that um, they pretty much are interchangeable. It's it's almost a choice, and the problem with it being interchangeable is you print something, and um, I <coughs> use the, the the different label, but it's. Still satisfies the same. Any other questions? The motion's been made and seconded. There's no further discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. The motion passes unanimously, and so our government will continue to run with um, a point person in the um, manager's office. Thank you. 
And so now um, the next piece on our agenda is for Mr. Lynch to uh, explain how the process will go this evening, answer any other housekeeping questions the council may have as it relates to who says what when, uh, or any clarifications on the questions that we're using. So, Mr. Lynch. Thank you. Um, tonight's the big night. Um, the, uh, what I presented or I handed out before the meeting began was a revised set of questions. Uh, essentially, they're the same questions that you had before that we provided to you, but as I indicated at that meeting, we wanted you to have an opportunity to uh, add anything or delete anything that uh, you thought uh, uh, would better uh, help you make your decision. So we've added in um, several different questions uh, that uh, uh, actually Tom had uh, sent on uh, regarding the um, some issues that he wanted sort of dig down into in some of these categories. So I just tried to, generally I tried to work them into the, the questions themselves. So specifically uh, asking the candidates what their understanding of the role of the town manager to be, uh, asking how um, a candidate handles uh, personal or political bias uh, in the decision making and uh, you know, hopefully um, you know, they're, they're making the decisions out of professional judgment and, and so on, but uh, asked that. Uh, asked, uh, added in some language regarding the uh, setting of priorities, uh, what their first priorities would be. Uh, and um, there was one more that we had here. Oh, the steps to become knowledgeable about the, the community. Uh, we, fit, we weave that one into the citizen relations, uh, which uh, hopefully uh, we had covered in there the opportunity to come in and um, how do you immerse yourself in the community and understand the community. And so, uh, so we sort of elaborated upon that. Uh, as far as the process uh, goes, my understanding from uh, speaking with uh, Council President is that you're going to each ask questions on a round robin basis, go around uh, usually question one and que the last question belonging to the Council President um, in terms of the introductions and then the closing. Um, but, um, you know, different ways boards handle this. Uh, in some cases, uh, there may be particular areas that uh, board members or council members are are uh, particularly interested in. There may be someone who's particularly interested in digging into finance. There may be someone else that's particularly interested in economic development. Um, so you can sort of grab the question that makes sense, uh, the most sense to you, or uh, you can just do it in sort of a, a, a you know, starting at one end of the table and working your way around. Uh, I've seen councils and boards do it uh, all different ways. So um, it, what you have here is for questions are intended to be basic questions. Um, we do them in a verbatim style. Uh, generally, we uh, of late, we've been um, modifying the process a bit uh, of how we uh, uh, how our communities like to do this, and how we try to make it more of a dialogue. The structure that you're going to be using tonight is, uh, you know, a little bit different, but still, it's the more traditional, perhaps, way of uh, addressing or issuing the questions. But I would certainly urge you to use these as prompts, not necessarily verbatim reading, uh, if at all possible, uh, so that you have a dialogue with the candidates. Uh, to that end, don't limit yourself necessarily to these questions. Uh, and if you have unanswered questions for, uh, as the candidates go through. So Mr. Henry, for instance, asked, uh, Council Henry asked if you know, could ask beyond these questions. Absolutely. If, you know, I wouldn't go uh, too far askew into whole other categories, perhaps, unless you so, unless the council so chooses, uh, and you want to be careful, obviously, with any legal que uh, questions that are uh, legally um, questionable. Uh, but I think that as people are answering questions about finances, perhaps, or leadership, uh, if you have information from the reference report we gave you that you think you'd like to drill down into, or if you have, uh, or research that you've done with uh, background uh, about the communities uh, or the uh, information that they provided you in their um, resumes that you think is applicable, yeah, by all means. The, the front door is locked so the candidates cannot get in. Well, that's that part of the screening process. Okay. Then that's the only candidate that will be yeah, interviewed then. So. <laughs> Mr. Mackey has the magic key. Yeah. 
Sorry, that slipped out. <laughs> so, um, so I certainly urge you to dig in a little bit into, into those to drill down as much as you can. We want you to feel comfort level with the uh, candidates as to their responses. Any questions from anyone? Okay. And the length of the interview, I, I know they're spaced an hour apart, but about 45 minutes? About 45 minutes, that leaves a little bit of time to go a little bit beyond, maybe for the council to take a break if need be. Uh, some candidates, you know, you may want to stay a little bit longer. Some mm -hmm. are, everyone's different with the way they answer questions. Right. Some answer very succinctly. Uh, succinctly and some go around. go around and you get some good information from that. And there's benefits on either side, succinctness and um, good. Thank you. Uh, detail. So, uh, but no, you can you can go beyond that. And I anticipate that the, the uh, candidates will get here um, uh, a little bit early. Sure. So, as you're ready, if we're going to keep them outside, but as they become available. Um, and so, um, between interviews, we're not deliberating. Correct. Or, or having any conversation among us. No, you no. shouldn't. And I would recommend that probably, I think you, the goal is to have some deliberation at the end of tonight yes. and yes. to make a decision. Yes. Okay. Then I would recommend at the end of the interview, the last interview, mm -hmm. that you take a brief inter inter recess, <laughs> recess, gather yourselves, and then um, come back in. And uh, I'll be here still. i uh, be happy to talk at that point. But I'll recommend at that time that you uh, go through the candidates and say what you like about each one of them, what you felt the strengths are. Uh, the goal here is to find the best, most positive candidate. So I would focus on the most positive of each one, and who, who and then uh, uh, you can entertain a, a motion for one or more of the candidates or all of the candidates, uh, and then uh, take a vote. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Okay. In terms of our questions, um, Bernie said, you know, we could go around Robin. Do you want? Would it, would it be more um, efficient to have us speak up beforehand so we know which question we're going to be dealing with? I think with? that doesn't hurt. So in other words, you, you end up with question four, you're going to or always ask question seven question, right, or right, question right. 11 or whatever. I think that does. I think that makes sense. That way yeah. you know ahead of time. Okay. Okay. So. Um, and the other, and I think we talked about this a little bit at the beginning, uh, as these candidates, a lot of these issues weave together. So as candidates are asking or answering questions, they may wander into another area. And it will be up to you as questioners to be able to say, you've already addressed this, however, and then add something to it, or if they've already answered it fully, pass, move it along. Move it along. Yeah, no need to uh, just uh, reiterate what they've already said. So at this time, at can this we go through and yeah. basically Yeah, uh, so I'll do questions one, and the introduction and the close, and it's up to the rest of you where you see if your favorite uh, topic is in there and you want to lead with that one, please jump in. I'd love to do question six. Okay. I also... Would, I mean, there there are issues that are. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter. But do you want everyone take one, or do you want me to just give you a few um, right now? Or let's everyone take one, and then okay. we'll go back around. Okay. All right. How about number three? I would like to do I that. Thought I was going to do number three. Could I have number five? Yes. Don, that looks good. Uh, let's do two. Two. Yeah. Uh, Delegation number seven. Seven. Mike? I think he's kind of uh, number four, right? Otherwise, we're. we're Ten, please. Okay. So make it ten. 
want to run through the entire council before we go to the well, next I, thing? I figure we're just going to go through all of them. And no, I'm just saying in terms of like the candidate getting, you know, one council, another one, another one, another one, as opposed to potentially two, the same council asking two consecutive Doesn't questions. Doesn't matter. I think it's... I guess I do want to take all the money. No, okay. I'd love so. to do number nine. Nine. Okay. Number 12. Number 11, please. All right. Tom, you said number what? 11? 11. Number 8. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yep. That's the last one, isn't it? No, no. we still we have got one. Four and thirteen. Yeah, four and no, no, no. I was just saying. Um, I thought you had said you were opening and closing. I am, but closing is fifteen. I'll do thirteen. That's candidates' question. Yeah, you know, she's going to ask them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like right. Sorry. So, Don, you're doing thirteen. Four still open. We only have one. That's your biggest issue. Yeah. Is a, I'll ask it. How about that? Okay. Sold. <laughs> the highest bidder. <laughs> Do we know Maryland, huh? the candidates here yet? I believe our, your first candidate's here. Okay. You ready? Sure. I would say so. Are we, folks, are we ready? I'm ready. Six, no, so I can no. just. Yeah. 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 Y